so th the last question for tonight, we will, um, uh, we will give to one of our online followers. He asks if there will be uh, a new government in Norway where there are strong uh, influences for boycotting uh, goods from the settlements or even from the whole of Israel. What will be the Israeli government attitude to uh, such uh, policy from a new Norwegian government? Well, first and foremost, it gives me another opportunity to say that one of the encouraging uh, parts of, of this uh, unsympathetic uh, resolution by LO was that, uh, the, the negative reaction was almost was almost uh, consensual. I mean, uh, it wasn't only the government, it was also the Labour Party, which for me is uh, an important sign. Now, um, if there will be a scenario of... Uh, described by, by the person who made the question, I would argue that Norway, uh, until today, uh, enjoyed a privileged, um, in a way, an, a privileged uh, relations with Israel in the very high level. I mentioned the fact that uh, Minister Brenda visits Israel three times a year, and each visit he... he um, meets with uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu and with other uh, Israeli leaders. And this is not trivial. There are very few, I would argue, um, ministers of foreign affairs worldwide who uh, meet Netanyahu which, with uh, such a frequency. And uh, Netanyahu will always meet Brendan no matter what. I mean, no matter how... Uh, how uh, loaded his uh, agenda is. And this comes from understanding the, um, the singular uh, role of Norway in the Middle East and also uh, understanding uh, or having the perception that Norway is what we call an honest broker. I mean, it's not biased. But the government understands, of course, the needs of the Palestinians, but it also understands at the same time the legitimate uh, interests of, of Israel, security issues, etc., etc., and the dialogue between the government of Israel or the leaders of Israel and the leaders of Norway is what I call an advanced class dialogue because the leadership of Norway knows very well the reality in the Middle East and uh, there is a kind of intimacy and understanding about uh, what the uh, what the, I would say the most important issues are. There is not always 100% uh, agreement, but as, a, as I say, uh, I don't have 100% agreement even with my wife, which I love a lot. So, uh, so it's about the kind of dialogues that we have. Now, if uh, there will be a different policy, and you have an example across the border, I mean, Minister Wallstrom is a persona non grata in Israel. She never visited Israel. She wanted very much to visit Israel. And, you know, we are an open country. She can land at Ben-Gurion at any time, but nobody will talk with her because she is perceived as a biased person. So, uh, of course, it will be a highly unfortunate for Norway to uh, lose, I would say, its, its unique position in this context. 